Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to target a question, which is how to calculate the return of investment of your automation testing. And many times in interview, people ask you, how do you calculate your ROI of your automation testing or your automation that you have done, right? So in this video, I'm going to talk about the rough calculation that you can basically present to your stakeholders or managers to uh, basically impress them, or you can tell them like how. the automation is helping us and here uh, we will discuss like how i have we have basically used a very simple formulas to calculate your rois and this is not the exact one and important points that you need to take care while calculating the roi in the automation right uh, just a disclaimer guys this is the calculating roi for automation is actually there is no generic method everyone does in a different way for example whatever the things that i am using probably your company will have certain different parameters which i am not aware of it right so i'm just giving you the generic thing that i have used and trust me it works very well because i have shared this across multiple uh, times to the stakeholders and it works very well so let's understand this what are the different parameters i'm talking about and you can modify according to your need whenever it is required right so and on in the end i'm going to give you the uh, then template also where you can basically put the cost we can you can see the cost analysis like uh, and to to basically showcase your stakeholders like how introducing the automation testing your uh, efforts are getting uh, less and how automation is basically helping you guys in the in the longer run all right so let's get started with this video all right first of all let's me make myself little smaller so that you guys can understand properly right uh, first of all let's see what are the different uh, parameters that you should uh, can talk about from the to the stakeholders right we you can present this data we call it cost analysis data which, which basically says that how the and by introducing the automation by introducing a automation test automation framework or a automation code into your testing how cost was going to be the overall cost of the project is going to be less right this is where we will see see tell them you can tell them the test coverage numbers you can showcase them and you can download the template which will help you a lot okay and how do you calculate the roi i think to calculate the roi for any system probably in the uh, right now in the market which is basically whatever the gain that you are getting minus the cost of investment whatever the cost that you have given divided by the cost of investment into 100 right this is like a traditional formula and the gain of investment if you see yeah uh, gain gain of investment from a automation right what what are the gain that you are generally get you will get a speed you will get a more uh, quality and the cost saving right because your manual efforts are getting reduced because you have introduced automation in, in your regression so that's why co it will be a cost saving process okay <clears throat> here let's calculate the return of uh, this is just a random example guys okay so here is the <coughs> traditional way let me pull up my marker okay let me check if it is working or not uh, give me one second amazing so now i think it's it's working okay so we have a task whatever for example suppose we have a project that we want to do basically test it out okay uh, we have a setup cost for example this is if you see in manual hours right how many hours it will take and in the automation how many hours it will take and this is like a week 2 this is suppose this is a week 1 week 2 week 3 and week 4 we are basically comparing how automation will basically behave because right now we have to do cost analysis and we have to calculate the automation coverage also right and which one is basically better in the longer run that we need to present to our stakeholders and the roi right so in the setup training test planning test designing execution and reporting these are the tasks that we will be doing so if we do it manually for example setup and training right i think manual most of the time manual testers are already present or you can add some of the for example like one or two to train them in a manual testing for example it's a fresher right then we are calculating that okay this is the time that generally will take for example in execution if you see it's almost high because we are doing it manually right and if you see in the automation right we have set up setting up the environment we take times training the people take time right for example in uh, manual testing we have taken at zero but you can take it as like 3 to 5 5 uh, hours to basically learn about the concept that or you can say about exploring the application and other thing right test planning and execute if you see designing designing takes time in the automation but after that if you see the execution right it's very less as well as the reporting time and here in the week 2 you see the magic because setups now there is no time in setups uh, there is no time in training only the planning is remains same or you can say generally reduces and as well as other things if you see most of the time are constant or you can reduce if you are introducing more optimized code right so what 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 exactly it means pramod 
let's see this example first okay this is how you will learn this thing okay so total number of test cases if you see we suppose we had 1000 test cases we have 500 this these are manual test cases and 500 we have automated so almost like 50 percent of the coverage that we have this is like a black box in a black box that we are uh black box we are saying we are not measuring with the proper unit test casing and proper instrumentation this is just a rough estimate from a bra black box point of view okay so time if we take time actually time of execution from a manual point of view it takes around 180 minutes which almost like a six three hours but if we take it through automation it's almost 30 minutes so releasing time in automation is reduced right and if you see for example instances we have used on the dollar uh, amount of aws machine to run the automation and we are running it daily also right <clears throat> amazing so now you will see a magic diagram which i wanted to say showcase to you and that you can use to your showcase to your uh, stakeholders also right if you see um, this is a manual and this is an automation. manual efforts are almost similar with the sprints for example sprint 10 12 right if you see in the automation the first of all first we had a higher higher number of the uh, efforts right it was increased and after that we have a drastic decrease over the long term term so that's why it is said that uh, after introducing the automation initial cost is high but after in a long run whenever you have a long run right and whenever you have a long run so automation will win the race and your testing efforts will keep on reducing every time okay so that's why that's what you can showcase them and this is what you can showcase them in proper diagrams or a proper template i i think i am going to share this uh, template also with you that you can basically leverage okay now basically the important points regarding the regarding this okay couple of points that need to basically automation is costly initially this is a true manual efforts are increased as the test cases are increased so if your test cases are increasing by sprint by sprint your uh, efforts will go also going to increase as well as your automation also uh, test designing automation generally takes time but execution takes very less time maintenance code cost is also added in the automation which we definitely know roi of the automation is generally in the long term this is very important and this is a very important point cost of automation decreases in a long term this is you I, I think i have to explain that here also there is no need to say that right and here in the reality check so reality check is important that's why i've introduced this and i think this is by diagram by smart bear but this is true because i have seen the same thing happening here right if you see this is time and blue one is the manual and the red one is the automation right if you see manual efforts are almost uh, like this okay they are increasing decreasing increasing decreasing and in the end generally they increase because of the automation code is also uh, automation test cases uh, i mean the test cases are also getting increased sometimes right here in uh, automation you will see there is a drastic increase and after that there is a constant and there is a increase decrease increase decrease this is like a reality check right so overall if you see again i have i am talking a very contradict point that i have presented up, upwards which was that yes rea in reality i have seen this uh, with my almost 10 years experience whenever we introduce the automation also the overall roi is okay or you can say is decent but many times in a real time scenarios with the increase of number of test cases manual efforts are of course going to be increased as well as the cost analysis but uh, automation also getting increased in the end because we are changing the requirement we are adding new test cases maintenance is getting high our AWS instances are getting increased and other things so reality check is also I need to tell you right this is my uh, responsibility that I should tell, tell you tell you these things also okay so reality the automation I think I have told you and the calculating the ROI example I have shown you in the diagram also okay all right guys I think this is clear and in the same thing I have explained and here i have added one more thing which is basically if you want to do cost analysis you can add the cost attached to it for example uh, to basically create uh, to do a training you can add cost right and if you basically plot the uh, proper diagram right you will see this kind of behavior where you will see that uh, automation generally after some time in the sprints right it decreases whereas manual efforts most of the time is constant throughout the sprints okay so that's this where it, uh, i think automation adding an automation for a longer t longer projects is great
okay uh, i hope this is clear guys and this is how you can calculate the roi of an automation project or in the automation testing thanks a lot for watching this video if you don't understand anything related to it you can dial basically comment down below i will be happy to help you this is not a accurately the method it's a, just a generic template that i have basically learned probably some years back and implemented in my previous companies and that's how we have done it in the past also so i hope this is clear and if you want to see more videos related to it type automation in the comment or roi in the comment i will know that you want more videos like this all right thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye